Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own terrain in UDK. So you want to go up to Tools, and then you want to go to New Terrain. I don't really change any of my options there, so I just go Next and Finish. And you should pop up with this square. Now to size it, you want to click on it, press space, and space again until you get these two, or three, should I say, red squares. And you just want to hold one and drag. And as you can see, it's making the terrain bigger and smaller. Now I'm just going to go with the medium size at the moment because I don't want my computer to lag. So Now you want to go to terrain editing mode which is the little mountain in the top left corner so click that and there's ho a whole bunch of options will pop up so what you want to make sure you have selected is pen mode and you want to make sure you have your pen size chosen and you probably want to turn wireframe on and as you can see that puts colorful lines across your square now, I like to increase mine, because that gives greater detail, so I'm just going to leave it with that at the moment. So, open it up again, and get a good camera view. And then, to shape the terrain, you want to hold the control key and the left mouse button is to rise the terrain as you can see I'm doing that and right mouse button is to lower the terrain so just go ahead and shape your terrain in any way you want to pretty easy okay I'm going to have mine like that and now you want to bring back up this menu and you want to go to New Terrain Setup Layer. So New Terrain Setup Layer. And I'm going to name it Rock Face. Click OK. Now just click on your newly created layer. And then right click and select New Terrain Material. And name it Rock map. You can do grass map, sand map, depending on what different what sort of texture you're going to use. And click OK. Now you want to go to the open the content browser and it should automatically pop up with these two new terrain materials. Now you want to go to the one that you wrote in as map and then you want to right click and go to properties so with this properties you want to move that out the way for now and you want to go into cool materials up in the assets so cool materials and then you've got a whole bunch to choose from now I called mine rock so I'm gonna have a rock face obviously and I'm gonna click black rock make sure you just click it once only and then come back over to your rock map properties over here and for where it says material none you want to click the little arrow because then that will open up that material that you selected close all of these and if you've done it correctly you should get a rock texture on your map now to get rid of the wireframe you go back up to the little mountains icon terrain editing mode and you toggle the wireframe off. So I'm just going to put a player start in and a light. So add actor, add light, dominant directional light, and I'm just going to position that up high. I'll rotate it a bit. And then I'm going to add actor, player start. Mm. 
and then I'm just going to play in viewport and as you can see our rock face looks pretty good now I'm going to show you how to add vehicles this is pretty easy so you want to go to view up in the corner here view browser windows actor classes and it should pop up with this now there's a couple of different icons up here there's your content browser and just act classes now for this you want to go to navigation point should be like a faded color navigation point you want to open that you want to go down to UDK vehicle factory open that open it again and then you've got three vehicles to use so just click on the one that you want to add in I'm going to add in a scorpion and then you right click on your map over here and you go to add you UTV UT vehicle factory scorpion here don't add the one without the here okay otherwise it will mess up your map exit this now you can choose the size of it I'm just going to keep it as normal and then just position it wherever you want to and let's play map oh. to use a vehicle you just go up and press E they're pretty fun to use these vehicles now I'm going to show you how to add a sky because it looks pretty pathetic with just black so we're going to go into our content browser and we're going to click all assets and then we're just going to type in sky now the sky I use is these three ones here it should say dome on the end of it that means it'll cover your whole map in a sphere semi-sphere whatever so you just want to hold and drag into your map and as you can see, adds a sky texture to your map. So let's play it again. And now we have a nice sky texture. And if you created your terrain really good, you won't be able to see these black areas. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful and have fun with your mapping.